Hi, my name is Chris Kovach and I'm the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. This is the second video in the series of three that's going to walk us through positioning, calibration, and adjustment to eye gaze settings for an eye gaze unit such as an iSeries device, PCI Go, or PCI Mini. So we've already accomplished the positioning in a prior video and now we're going to transfer right into actual calibration and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the settings and some of the adjustments we can make within calibration. So what we've done is we've opened up our gaze interaction settings and we've already gotten ourselves into the proper position. So there we go. And now what I want to do is I can explore the settings. Uh, if you have someone that you're trying to calibrate that you know is going to probably do pretty well, they're stable, they understand what they're going to be doing and they have the ability to concentrate for the entire calibration, you probably don't need to change much in the settings. But what you can do if you go into settings is change the background color, change the number of calibration points. Uh, so if we have someone who's going to struggle to hit nine points, nine will give us the most uh, precise calibration, but we can also drop it down to five, two, or possibly even one calibration point if that's um, what's going to be successful for that particular client. We can have it turn the sound feedback uh, from a beep to none. We can also change the calibration area, which we'll talk about talk about in a little bit. Getting an extra pop-up from the positioning guide, which we'll explain in a moment. We can change the stimulus type. This may be helpful for um, keeping attention. So we may want to change this from a dot to maybe an image or a video. Uh, it's very common to put an image of something that's motivating to that customer. So uh, maybe a family member, maybe a favorite cartoon, a favorite car. Uh, one of those kind of things that is going to allow them to want to follow that around the screen more than maybe just a simple dot. And you can also adjust the stimulus size, speed, and potentially use keyboard step through as well. Uh, these are all get a little bit more involved, so we're going to keep it pretty basic at this point, and I'm not going to change anything. I have nine calibration points, which is going to get me very precise, and I'm leaving everything else as is coming from the factory. So I can close out of there. I'm going to double check to make sure I'm still in the right position. By using my track status box, I am. And now I'm going to calibrate. So what you want to do with a calibration is the orange circle is going to pop up and you're going to see a little black circle in the middle, a dot. That's what you want to follow around on the screen. So we want to try and isolate our gaze on that black dot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to intentionally look away on a couple of these points and then come back so that we can show you how to improve some points that may have allowed the customer to get distracted or maybe data wasn't picked up properly by the unit. Okay, so now you'll see that there are a couple dots or a couple areas of the calibration that I looked away. I didn't get great calibration points and you can see these long lines uh, on the middle one and the lower left hand corner. Everything else, I was pretty close. Our goal here is to get the natural movement of the eye or the isolation of the data it's collecting to as close to those white circles as we can. So what I want to do to try and clean this up is I want to really just improve this point and this point. And rather than making the customer go through all nine points again, we can just select those two points and you'll see as soon as I did that, it gives me an improve points option here below. So I'm going to hit improve points and it's only going to bring up those two points. So this time, I'm going to concentrate a little bit harder, and I still didn't get uh, a dialed-in green calibration. You'll see that I have a yellow calibration. Now, yellow, green, red, or red, yellow, green, they are all still successful calibrations, so please don't get too hung up on the color of the calibration. Uh, all it's telling you is that there may be areas where we could tighten things up a little bit and maybe get a little bit more precise. So it's probably going to be these two points because I'm outside of my white circles. So I'm going to try and improve those two points now. And it took me to a green calibration. So this means I'm probably going to be pretty precise with my calibration and my ability to access smaller targets on the screen. Now, if you have issues and you need to modify this, again, you can go into the settings and you can do less calibration points. Uh, you can also 
remove that track status box. So if you have a child or someone who doesn't hold attention very well, you may want to uncheck this box. And what that's going to do is when you first hit the calibration and you got a, the bigger version of this track status box, it's just not going to pop that up. So it's just another thing to allow you to get into the calibration and get working while you have that customer's attention. Other settings, uh, we talked about maybe the stimulus type. We may want to put a picture or a video on, the speed, and then keyboard step through. Uh, keyboard step through is beneficial when you have someone who is uh, not great at maintaining their attention and you want to actually plug a keyboard into the device or use the keyboard on your computer to literally step through point by point. Uh, and you'll see that there's some instructions here at the bottom uh, if that's something you would like to trial. So right now we are good to go. We have nine points of calibration. We've improved a couple points and we should be up and running. So I'm going to hit OK and we're going to end this video and then talk about adjustments to different settings from within the, uh, the speech software itself. So thanks and we will start the next video soon.